All right, I wanna talk about Facebook Conversions API. Now, you may have already heard of this and it's actually been around for a very long time. And it's also referred as CAPI. Now, let me explain to you a little bit about what's going on here. So, you're probably familiar with the Facebook Pixel or Metapixel. What's happened since the iOS 14 update is we're not allowed to send pixel data back to Facebook unless the user on the app agrees to it. So I think over 90% of the people are saying, no, don't um, track me. So you get this little notification that says, ask app not to track you. So a lot of people are saying no to that. Of course, that's what they would do because you don't be tracked. Now what's happening now is Facebook's not getting the data it needs to track conversions and other events that happen whenever somebody leaves the app after they see an ad. That's a big problem for advertisers because now we can't accurately, you know, make decisions on what's working, what's not working. So what has been a big talking point is conversions API. Now this has been around for a while now with pixel tracking beginning canceled out or becoming less efficient. People have been using the conversions API and the difference is pixel tracking goes straight from the Facebook app and tracks everything and sends it back, right? Every little event gets sent back to Facebook through the pixel. It has its direct line from Facebook to um, back to Facebook. So with conversions API, what's happening is the person clicks the ad, they go to your landing page and an event happens. Um, let's just say they're entering their email to download a, a lead magnet or something. So when they enter their email, your server collects that email, right? Whether whatever system you're using, whatever CRM you're using. Now that CRM, that tool, or whatever tool you're using can report that information back to Facebook, whether it's being stored on your own server or a third party tool. You may have you know, gotten some messages from Meta about setting up your conversions API. I know I have, and the way that works is Facebook is helping you set up an instance, your own server with AWS. And believe me, this goes over my head. I don't understand all this. I just know that they're setting up a cloud server on AWS that stores all this information and reports it back to Facebook, right? I don't recommend that for somebody that's, you know, just starting out, small business, not spending a ton of money on ads. Um, for a couple of reasons. One, it's very technical. And the other reasons is you have to have this, this AWS server that does cost money. And depending on how much traffic you send there, the monthly bill can fluctuate. And it's probably could be pennies, but it could also end up, you know, costing you money that you don't really need to spend. And the reason why I suggest not doing that is because there's other solutions. Likely the solution that you're using for say, you know, Shopify or these other checkout tools, a lot of them will already have Cappy integrated into the system. The purchase event is the most important one to report back to Facebook, but you also have lead events. So lead events can get reported back to Facebook as well, amongst a bunch of different other events you can send back there. The other way you can do this is if your tool does not have a CAPI solution integrated, and typically you can search for it in the help articles or reach out to their support to see if they do have CAPI support. But if they don't, I'll show you a way that you can set it up for almost any tool out there as long as they work with Zapier. So what I'm gonna do is go really quickly go into Zapier and show you how to set up a Zap to report CAPI information back to Facebook or Meta. So let's jump into this tool. And here I have a zap already set up, right? Or not set up, but I got it open. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, first of all, figure out how we're gonna trigger that app. So we're gonna figure out what we want to do, use to trigger this event. I'm gonna use Unbounce because we use this for a lot of our landing pages. And we're simply just gonna choose, let's just choose a lead event, a new form submission. So basically when the form is submitted, we'll call this a lead form. We want a lead event to fire back at Meta and notify Meta that a lead just came through from that campaign. So we'll hit continue there. We're going to trigger. It'll ask you to choose your login information on Unbounce. Then you need to choose the landing page. So let's, here we go. So we got the landing page. It's gonna test the trigger. This one has information, so cool. And now we're gonna continue with the selected record and we're gonna type in Facebook. 
conversions. So Facebook conversions. Send lead event. Continue. We'll have to choose our account. Facebook conversions, I already have it set up. You'll have to set it up on your own. And this is gonna be a website. And we'll pick the business account and their pixel. Um, and this section here, the more data you can feed back to Facebook, the better. But a lot of times you may not have this information. So some of this may not have it included. So this has time data, but it's not formatted properly. You can format data, it gets a little more complicated. We're gonna bypass uh, a lot of this stuff, but again, the more you can data you can give Facebook, the better, because you can start identifying who that person was. But the main thing is you definitely want to include email. So we'll do email. If you can capture phone number, obviously you're not going to be able to capture phone number for all your leads, but if you can catch phone number, they want to put that in there. First name. I'm assuming we're, we got name. Yep. But at the very least, you need to send email over. So again, you want to capture as much data as possible and send it back to Facebook here. So if you're collecting any of this data, city, state, country, zip code, any of that, be sure to send that back to Facebook. Now that we have that set up, hit continue. You can uh, test it. We're just going to go ahead and skip. And now anytime a lead comes through on bounce through Zap, Zapier, it's going to send a lead event back to Meta and let them know that this conversion happened. So again, to recap this, you don't need to set up your own server and do all this. You can, if you're doing, you know, you know, if you're doing a lot of, um, if you're spending a lot of ad spend, it's not a bad idea to set that up. But if you're not spending a ton of money on ad spend, I wouldn't recommend drumming up your own server and dealing with all that extra work. Either use a third party service that you're using already. They typically will have a CAPI connection or again, you can use Zapier to connect your CAPI event. So appreciate you listening to this video. If it helps you out, feel free to hit the notification bell, subscribe, all that good stuff. I appreciate you and thank you.